Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2018 LEGO Ninjago Bricktober minifigure pack. This was a limited edition Toys R Us exclusive with four exclusive minifigures that are really awesome. These promotions ran at Toys R Us in 2017 and 2018. I mean, they had Bricktober every year, but like this specific style of minifigure pack was only for those two. And Ninjago got uh, got two of these, and I think that this one isn't quite as nice as the 2017 one, which I've already reviewed, but it still has some amazing figures. They come in these like strange little boxes that have like a hard plastic shell around the figures, and they're just protected by this little um, like I don't like just hard plastic sleeve. But here are all of the figures. Now I will pop them out, which is um, extraordinarily hard in my opinion, and we can take a closer look at them. This is Harumi with the Oni Mask of Hatred. I do think this set is a little bit weird because half of the minifigures are like from after the TV show redesigned all the characters to look more like the movie. But then Jay and Nia in this set are still based on like their pre-season 8 designs. Uh, so that's just like a weird observation. But I think that this figure is really, really awesome. I liked Harumi as a character quite a bit. So I was really sad when she died. Um, Because I, honestly, I think that that was like one of the biggest mistakes Ninjago made. Killing her off because she could have been really interesting if she had stuck around. The Mask of Hatred did come in other sets. But this is the only place to get, you know, like this torso print, leg print, and face print. I like her katanas. Um, They're kind of useless to me though. Because like they're, they're pretty common. It would have been nicer to see like maybe another accessory. But that rock, like, side arm and leg printing is just, like, amazing to me. All of the minifigures in this set have some kind of arm printing, which is really, really nice. Especially because that's not something that you see a lot in Ninjago. And I also like that she has a double-sided face, because none of the minifigures in the 2017 pack had one of those. With all the extra stuff removed, you can see her print a little bit better. I like that you can see kind of, like, the floral designs of her royal clothing underneath. And again, that is just some very nice arm printing and the back printing, super detailed. Next up, we've got Future J. This is the minifigure from the scene in season five where he sees himself with Nia. And we are getting a Future Nia minifigure this year, I believe, or maybe it came last year. Um, it was coming in a book. I don't remember if that came out yet or not. But this minifigure is very detailed. I love the torso print, especially, you guys know I love it, when there's like metallic printing on minifigures. The leg print is pretty great as well. He's just holding a regular brown stick piece, but he has a very, very nice side arm and side leg printing. I knew that he had side arm printing. I was not expecting the side leg printing at all. That is something that's really unnecessary, but it just elevates the figure so much. And even the arm print, like there are like fine little like sequined like dots in there. It's just very, very nice texture. Around the back, you have some nice printing as well, um, but he has no alternate face. That's okay. I don't really think he needs one. This one with the eye patch is pretty good already. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this amazing figure. This is Mohawk. I believe he's one of the sons of Garmadon, but I don't remember him from season eight at all. He is a cool figure. I really like, you know, torso print. It's good. Leg print is okay if a bit generic. I don't know if it comes in other sets, but it looks like it easily could. His face print is nice, but I think the best part about him is that printed arm. He also has side leg printing. I didn't even realize that. That makes the leg print very, very nice. I, I can't believe like how detailed all of these Bricktober figures were. But the baseball bat is really cool because it's like this drum lacquered silver, not like the molded silver Lego color. And so that's honestly probably my favorite part of the figure. Yes, he is in the Sons of Garmadon. I can tell from that tattoo. But he does have a little bit of back printing, again, with the Sons of Garmadon logo. And then what surprised me is that he even has, like, printing on the back of his head to show where he's shaved his hair. And last up is my favorite minifigure in this pack. It's Kabuki Nia from Season 4 Tournament of Elements when she snuck into Chen's palace, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. And this is an amazing figure. Again, this is based on like the pre-season 8 redesign. So she's still got her bob haircut. The face print is great. The torso and leg printing is also great. Although she is the only character that does not have side leg printing. But this is like my favorite part of her. She finally has her bracelet printed on her arm. That is like something that she's been wearing since the very first episodes of Ninjago. And I always like really wanted her to have that. I used to like pop off her hand and put like a one ring piece around her wrist to like mimic that. So it's great to finally see it actually, you know, like in an official Lego set. 
Um, and I mean, I know I'm fawning over this thing. This set came out three years ago, but hey, it's my first time having it, so I really like it. I also think her printed fan is great as well. It's a really cool accessory. It's not printed on the other side, though. That's a shame. Um, I would have liked that, but I really like it when LEGO prints those fan pieces, and she does have some very detailed back printing as well, but I don't think she has an alternate face. She does have an alternate face. Okay, um, I'm shocked by that. I really thought that she didn't, so that just levels up this figure even more. That makes it even better. So yeah, um, definitely my favorite minifigure in this pack. I still think that this is a great Bricktober minifigure pack. I just don't think it's as nice of a lineup as the 2017 one because we've got two characters from a season that kind of rebooted a lot of Ninjago, um, you know, in terms of bringing Garmadon back and redesigning all the characters. And then we've got two from earlier seasons. And personally, I really prefer the earlier seasons. So I'm definitely partial towards future J and future, or, and sorry, Kabuki Nia. Harumi is a great figure, but honestly, Mohawk is kind of just there. I really think that that slot should have been taken up by someone else. Um, I can't think of like another character I would have rather had off the top of my head, but I just know that there are so many untouched minifigures in Ninjago that I would have rather seen over just a random Sons of Garmadon like guy that I can't even remember from the actual show. So that pretty much sums up my thoughts on this pack. Um, again, I think the only standout here is Kabuki Nia, whereas the 2017 pack for me had two standouts. But I will be comparing them so you guys can decide which one you like better. That's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.